as I said, because we've had, as human beings, we have now developed a system of money, or t the way that we talk about money, the way that we talk about work, for example, we talk about making a living, yeah? We talk about surviving. So all of these, these things, we are, we're tying ourselves, like I say, emotionally, to having this money. Because we don't need money to live. Yeah? Okay. The planet, you know, everything that we want to live, everything that we need to live, already exists on the planet. We, need, we have air, we have water, and we have food. Those are the things that we need to live. Yes? Money has been introduced as a way of, if you like, making things easier to exchange things for things that we want. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So if we if we substituted money for the things that we want, we have now put money and the things that we want in place of ourselves. So we're looking for happiness, as I said, that's our natural state uh -huh. as human beings, is to be happy and is to seek, you know, contentment and fulfillment. And we've been brainwashed, if you like, or programmed to think, well, if we get more things, this will make us happy. Yeah? Yes. If we work harder, yes, and we'll, we'll get harder. If we work harder, we'll get more and we'll have more and then we'll be happy. But that doesn't seem to work. Yes, yeah? yes. And it's one of those yeah. things I've, I've heard growing up so much, you know, if, if you just work hard, put your shoulders to the wheel, make exactly. hay while the sun shine, and all those kind of sayings. You just exactly. think it's, it's you know, yeah. I've and seen our parents. People, yeah. Now, if we look at ourselves as black people, African people on the planet, who has worked harder than us? It's, it's certainly in the last, you know, 600 years. Yes. So hard work really doesn't pay. And the people that haven't been working hard have been reaping all the benefits. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Just look at that. So we've been kind of, we've inherited this kind of Protestant work ethic. Yeah? Okay. That means that we have to work hard to get what we want and we have to struggle for what we want. And it, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm. Yeah? So we have to start thinking differently, behaving differently. So, but so, all of it has to do with our emotions as well. Okay. So for a start, for, so if we think that we're in debt, so if I borrow some money from you, Ancobia, uh -huh. and I say, you know, Ancobia, you know, lend me £10, and you lend me £10, I go away, but I get £10, and I give you £10 back. You're, you feel great because I've given you £10, and I feel great because I've paid my debt. Yes. yes. When we are in a system that creates debt out of nothing, and I'll give people a website to look up or suggestions to have to look up, when we create debt or debt is created that we can't pay back, we start to lose our self-esteem. We start to lose our confidence. We start to feel guilty and ashamed that we could incur this debt and we can't pay it back. Yes. And that is deliberate, and that's all part of the conditioning. And again, on the planet, it doesn't just apply to African people, it applies to the majority of people on the planet, yes? Mm -hmm. But I'm really obviously just concerned with our people and really upskilling our people, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is, so it's the guilt and the shame that's around that, that's, you know, that we can't pay back this debt because we don't understand how it comes. Because everybody genuinely, I think there's very few people that I've ever come across in my life that genuinely don't want to repay their debt. Mm. Everybody genuinely wants to repay because it makes them feel good to do that. It makes them feel genuinely good to do that. And when we're in, you know, we have a system imposed on us, almost, or we partake of a system that we don't understand that is creating debt out of nothing, and then we find ourselves unable to pay, this is part of the um, issues that we have around money.